All right, everybody. So this series is going to eventually segue into a certification and a pathway that Hack the Box recently has come out with. It's called the CJCA, which is the HTB Certified Junior Cybersecurity Associate. It's a more beginner level certification. I would put it on par with the Security Plus, only that I believe it's like leaps and bounds beyond the Security Plus because it's not just multiple choice questions and simulation questions. It is a practical exam that you take. And um, so I do think it's worthwhile um, because we've been going through starting point and we're going to finish starting point. But I wanted to take this checkpoint just to stop and, and direct your attention to the CJCA. This is um, this is something I do think that you should do. It's a, it, Because it's a newer cert, you may not see the name recognition of the cert itself out there much. But you will see Hack the Box's name as a respected name. They have some of the leading experts in cybersecurity working on some of this. Uh, and de developing this content, developing the, the uh, modules, the training, the boxes, the preparation path. So this will segue. I haven't quite decided yet whether to make it a separate playlist. I'm just gonna keep using this playlist, um, which is a beginner's guide to cyber, IT and cybersecurity. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue using this playlist, but I do think it'll probably get to a point where uh, it just makes sense to break it off into like CJCA prep because um, I know that this will become more and more popular. And if you are with, you know, uh, you know, the, the powers that be that decide on, you know, what are the next great certs? What are what are the next recommended certs that the government puts on the, all their lists and the DOD in the United States puts on their required lists of certs? Put more hack the box certifications on your lists, no matter what country you are in, because these this content, the platform, I believe the intentionality behind it is really awesome. They're making you get hands on skills like it's like forcing you to do it. Matter of fact, I believe with all of the certs, you have to complete all of the modules 100 percent before you can even unlock that start exam button. So it's, you know, they really want you to understand it. They really want you to learn in it, in your, in its entirety. Um, and then the modules themselves are really hands-on. This cert is picking up some steam. Full disclosure, I did help with this path. I, I worked at Hack the Box at that time, full time on the Hack the Box Academy team, helping them develop modules you'll see my you actually see my name in there ltn bob is what i go go by online uh i don't hide who i am though you can find a lot of my details in my linkedin and my personal blog which should be in my youtube uh the youtube description uh, of this video of my channel description and then on twitch so um you know this this uh this pathway right here I helped develop, and this has gotten popular as a cert. They're, they're starting to talk about CPTS on the same level, if not better than OSCP. I hear a lot of pen testers in the industry now saying, you know, CPTS helped me get in. They preferred it over OS, they prefer it over OSCP. But you know, the thing about the certs that you really gotta be mindful of is that um, they're, you know, to really get like, institutionally recognized they have to be on the market for a while sometimes a few years before the HR department says this is worthy of putting on the job description so you you still see OSCP out there a lot but I do believe they're shooting themselves in the foot a little bit OS the offsec with the cost truthfully they pay they charge way too much in my opinion but, you know, they could be targeting the same market, you know, like SANS typically targets, which is like, you know, the big enterprises and military and government, which, you know, typically can afford those high prices. Where the average person right now, 
they can't spend like a thousand plus on a learning material, right? And I, I do think that's where some of the schools do have an advantage still in that uh, like colleges in the United States, they, you know, they have programs like FAFSA, which allows you to apply for uh, student grants or grants and not not just loans. I mean, I'm talking grants where grant you don't have to pay back. You know, when I went to community college over 10 years ago, I got all of my school paid for in grants. It was called the Pell Grant because, you know, my family at the time didn't make enough money really or we qualified for assistance and I got my school paid for. I could buy a book bag, all the books, all the materials. And then um, I actually had, you, if, if you didn't use all the money by a specific date, you get a check in the mail that you can use. You can put in your account and, you know, do, do whatever with it. So um, there is an incentive to go to school still in that sense. And, you know, you know the quality thing we've talked about quite a bit on my channel but I, I will say if you're a college, I highly encourage you to use Hack the Box if you're doing IT and cybersecurity, anything in your programs. I've aligned curriculum with Hack the Box. It fits so well. Rather than doing slides, and if you're a student, recommend this to your, your teachers. Instead of doing slides and you know all that boring stuff, why not just go and use the, the sections of these modules as slides for IT and cybersecurity content. I'm not saying Hack the Box is yet a one-stop shop. It's, um, you know, you still have like, if, if you're trying to be a software engineer or an infrastructure engineer, the skill set goes much, much broader. But cybersecurity does touch almost every aspect of IT. Um, so, you know, software engineering, there's other platforms out there and we can talk about that. There's a there's one resource that I, I strongly recommend. Uh, there's really two if you're you stumbled upon this video and you're like, I just really want to develop software. I want to create apps. That's what I want to do. Um, there's some things for you on Hack the Box, but it's not necessarily teaching you from scratch how to be a software engineer. There are other platforms for that and great educators and mentors online. One that I highly recommend, you might already know about him. His name's RWX Rob, which is Read, Write, Execute Rob. Go check him out right now. Follow him on Twitch. Follow him on YouTube. He will not only teach you some awesome skills, he will also teach you um, and be able to point you in different directions that I might not be able to just because I'm not a software engineer. I can give you some perspective, and I've done... I've written some applications, but not, not, I wouldn't go and say, I'm a full-blown software engineer. That's what I do eight hours or more a day. Um, who, uh, also, I would recommend getting connected with a, within the ecosystem that is free code camp. So this is for software engineers, by the way. And it's always helpful to get that software engineering skill set as well, no matter what field or sub-discipline of IT you're in. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, so Free Code Camp is a great resource. They have great videos. They have a on their YouTube channel. They do courses, multiple hour long courses they upload that are just well done. Uh, you, it's surprising how inexpensive it is. And you'll see very popular millions and millions of people use Free Code Camp. And then their main site, which has it does actually have pathways guided lessons in a similar fashion that a site like Hack the Box has, and that's completely free. I know one of the fascinating things about Free Code Camp is they're working on a degree. So they're gonna try to be a, they're gonna try to offer a computer science degree for free. I know that's not ready yet and they gotta go through all the processes that are required to become like a uh, degree granting institution. But um, yeah, that's um, those are some resources to check out. I just wanted to use this as a time to uh, you know take a you know maybe you're binging these videos and you need to take a quick break to build perspective. 
Um, where we're going to head with this after we're done with starting point is we're going to head with we're going to head into preparing for the uh, CJCA. And I'm going to do a whole series of study groups. So please join my discord to know when we're doing those. Um, I'm going to do uh, prep. Like we're going to be doing prep. I'll do these formal lessons and I'll also do informal. We're chilling. We're learning together. We're hacking through it together um, type of lessons too. And, you know, just to prepare for this. Uh, I think it's good to have a goal in mind. Um, I know for many of you, it's like, I want to get a job in the field. The first step there is, is getting a getting a skill set, developing a skill set that's valuable to employers and that at least you give them enough to start with and they can help develop you from there. But feel free to consider me a mentor and an instructor as I guide you through this. I do care. Um, I, you know, I have, you know, I have connections with Hack the Box. Um, I have connections in the cybersecurity industry. I know of conferences. There's going to be a lot of different um, opportunities. I hope you, my whole channel is all is about like helping people find work and felt helping people find purpose. You know, I believe in God, I believe in the Lord and I, I want people in the process to find purpose. And that's why I'm called to do this. And hopefully as you go through this and you continue to go through this, if you've, if you, if this isn't your first time m meeting, um, that, uh, you eventually, you know, you get where you need to go. And so, yeah, that's that. And, uh, you know, keep learning.